Hello again, this is Alvaro. You have seen me from my prior videos on this channel. This time I'd like to show you how to live stream some contents from an FS5 or an X70 that I have right there uh, to a system that uh, can be either a laptop, like in this case, a smartphone, a tablet. So uh, the scenario we are going to have here is just a router. In this case, it's going to be my uh, smartphone, which is configured as a Wi-Fi area. It has a its own network and I will have uh, three devices connected to, to that um, Wi-Fi. My laptop which is already configured, my X70 and what we're going to do is to configure the FS5 in this case for firstly be connected to the, to the Wi-Fi network and secondly to start that streaming. So for that, what we need to do is firstly to know the uh, network environment. For that, what I can do, for instance, in this case, is to launch a CMD in my laptop and I can, I can type ipconfig, sorry, ipconfig, and that way we know that the IP uh, address on my laptop is going to be 192.168.4337, as you can see here. So that is the IP address that I will uh, route my stream into. Apart from that IP address, I need to select a port. In this case, I will use two ports, 1234 for this uh, camera and 8080 for the X70 that I, I have been already uh, streaming with. That port needs to be open in, in my router, obviously. So be careful with that because maybe if you don't find any stream from the camera to the laptop, you will probably need to, uh, to log into the, into the router interface and then configure that. So first step. Let's configure our FS5 so that it is logged into the, into the network. For that, I will go into the network set uh, menu, then into the Wi-Fi set, and then into access point set. Now the camera is searching for different uh, uh, networks that are around me. The one I want to find is uh, Xperia set 5 AO from Alvaro Ortiz. So it should appear in my list. Let's take a, a moment for, for it to, to appear. Sorry, it takes a while. Obviously, it would be better to, to wait. OK, now it appears here. My password is, uh, I have configured that it is very, very simple for this demo. It is Madrid123. Okay. Now I can select. Firstly, if I want a fixed uh, IP address, which is very practical in some cases, but if I have a um, uh, fixed IP address and there is another um, device in my network that has the same IP, then there is a, a conflict in the IP addresses. For knowing that, I could do a ping from my laptop against that IP address, but maybe I am doing that ping before that other system or that other, other device is uh, switched on. So I would prefer, at least for this environment, to leave it in auto mode. And the second parameter here is priority connection. This means that if there, there are many other flows, signal flows coming into my router, then the priority is for this one. And if there, there is some need to, to reduce or, uh, the, the bandwidth or even to, to cut down the connection from any other device, then do it. But don't close the connection from this camcorder. In this case, I will leave it to, to off, but it's a very uh, quite a useful uh, uh, function. So now it is connecting to my network. And once this has ended, this first step, 
I will have my camcorder logged into my network. And the second step is to configure the streaming. For that, I will go into the, again, the network set menu, streaming sub menu, and now I can apply three um, profiles, three presets. I can edit them here. So that is what I'm going to do. What is this useful for? Imagine that now I am um, streaming uh, uh, some event in an auditorium and I want to stream that into, um, into some network belonging to that university or, or college or whatever. In another moment I will use my camcorder for shooting a live concert and then I want to stream that against a, a website. So I can have those profiles uh, pre-configured through these presets. So what I'm going to do is to edit the preset one. I will use an HD ready uh, resolution and the destination is where I configure the laptop. So the host name is the IP address or belonging to my laptop, which is 192, 168, dot, 43 dot 30 sorry 7 okay and now let's keep this port as I told you in the beginning of this video I have already configured my x70 to start a streaming again against my laptop it is already running here you can see that through port 8080 I have some streaming, let's move this billiard or pool balls and now I will configure my uh, VLC, in this case it can be Windows Media Player or any other video capturing uh, program or application and now I will open my, uh, my uh, subnet location or my network location. As you can see I have from my prior demonstration configure that it is UDP because all this traffic is going through UDP and it is going to read from the port called 1234 which is the port that I am configured in this screen in my FS5. So I will apply that profile, return and as, as I was telling you I will use the preset 1. Now if I press the button execute for streaming it allows me to select which uh, way uh, can I uh, connect with? So it can be either Wi-Fi, that is why we have conf configured the Wi-Fi before, or it can be a wireland. In this case, FS5 has a, a, an a interface, an RJ45 interface that can be that can allow me to cable it, to connect it uh, via cable, so it is much safer. I can do the same with the X70 through a, a small device that converts USB into RJ45. So this, these are the two ways to connect. In this case, as I was demonstra demonstrating, I will do it through Wi-Fi. And now in, in this screen you will see that a streaming a configuration is being prepared. Yet I am not streaming. But when I press the thumbnail uh, button that you, that you can see here in the, in the screen, the streaming will start. So let's see what happens to my screen in my laptop. I will press play. Sorry, it is in Spanish. Play. And as you can see, nothing is happening right now. But the moment I, I press the thumbnail button in my camcorder, which is now, you will see that it takes a little while. And now I can capture what is coming through the UDP uh, connection through port 1234. The IP address, as you have seen, it, it has been already inputted on my uh, configuration. And you can see that it takes a little second, so obviously there is a little delay because I need to encapsulate all through the UDP, UDP sorry, connection. But I can capture both, and you can see that I have both connections here. One from the FS5 and another one from the X70. So I hope this, is, this video is useful for you. Uh, sorry for my English again, sorry uh, because uh, probably some, some stages are not very clarifying, so probably we, you will need to review the, this video. 
But you can see that these devices, even due to the price and due to the weight, they seem to be small, but they are very, very capable. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my, in my next one. Thank you.